Hello everybody, welcome to Sleepless Bots. This is Emmanuel Casey, aka Bra Payne. In this video, we're gonna be reviewing my newest and latest e-commerce chatbot template. Uh, I did upload uh, an e-commerce chatbot, I think it was about, hmm, maybe about five months ago. I had it on YouTube and uh, I really appreciate the nice feedback I got from that. Um, so I went back to the drawing board and uh, wanted to improve it, make it a lot better. Uh, so we're going to be taking some time to review and check this new version out. Um, I've really enhanced it with uh, quite a lot of uh, new features and also some integrations. Okay, uh, But before we proceed, um, I'm going to try to keep this video short. Usually I don't want to cover every single feature. Uh, that I've you know I've added to the to the chatbot okay because it's gonna make the video way too long um, I'm gonna try to keep it to 30 minutes sometimes a bit of a struggle but um, you know I don't want it to be an hour long an hour and a half you know so uh, here's the deal check the description area you're going to see a demo link in there okay if you're watching this video on uh, YouTube you will see a demo link in the description area and uh, all you have to do is just click the link and it will prompt you to open it up in messenger and you can interact with the bot uh, in real time okay you can take as much time as you want you know and hey just check out the features you know and and, and you know yeah, ch you know check it out you know take take a look at it let's know uh, how you feel about it okay so um uh, let's take some time and you know uh, proceed and check and see what this thing is capable of I designed this bot mainly for um, you know those that sell physical products but it can easily be tweaked if you sell digital products like an ebook all right or maybe music for example um, you can also use this template okay I could easily tweak it and make it uh, you know suitable for if you know for those that of you that sell uh, Digital products as well. Okay, but as of now this was built with you know for the uh, to sell physical products Okay, so um, let's take some time and uh, Check out you know what this new bot is uh, all about this new e-commerce bot. Okay So I'm gonna go right to the over to the right side um, and I do have this mobile view right here uh, this is exactly how it's gonna look like you know if you if you're looking at it in uh, in the mobile in the mobile view okay so right off the bat you could see um, it has a pretty simple introduction uh, pretty simple intro here um, it just welcomes the customer uh, now at the very top you can replace that uh, with your store logo okay or if you have something else that you think is welcoming you can you know use that um, um, you know and replace this one with that okay um, but yeah it does welcome the customer I usually like to break them up into past or new customers okay mainly past or new customers that usually that I'm looking around it's pretty much like I point them to you know to new customers flow uh, but I like to break them up you know so you know if you have certain things you want the past customer to see at the very beginning you could take them uh, through a, a unique path okay a unique flow if you have something you want your new customers to see uh, up front you could take them to another another you know uh, flow path okay so it's just I mean you don't have to do it that way I just like to break them up you know and I think it's you know it looks neat and pretty organized okay so let's take the um, let's go ahead and take the new customer flow okay we're gonna take that path and see what we got over there we'll come back to, uh, and test out the old uh, the past customer we'll test that out okay so here uh, it walks on uh, sends them a, another welcome you know uh, all these can be you know of course you can edit all, all of these but um, all right so as you could see it gives them um, the shop now option um, you know it gives them best-selling items option it gives them items on sale 
um, newly arrived items, you know, contact information about us. Okay, you can still add some other things over here if you want to, but this is just for demo purposes. So I had this. So the whole idea, you know, whenever I, I think I mentioned this in my other videos, um, that whenever I'm building bots, I always have it in mind to build bots that helps the business convert, uh, you know, help them make more money. I build bots that can solve problems for the business owner, uh, you know, can help the business grow. Okay, so. Uh, it's not just about having a cute looking bot, you know, you got to think, uh, put yourself in the in the mind of the customer. You know, when I come in to shop for something, you know, what am I looking for? You know, you want to make those things that, you know, the customers need up front. You want to put those things right in front of them so they don't have to be digging and searching. And, you know, uh, and then sometimes they get frustrated and they bounce off of your you know your your website or your chatbot you know a platform something like that you know so here we put all those things in front of them what you the best selling item some customers are they don't know they're not sure you know what to get you know they need something to guide them you see what i mean right they need some guidance they need a little bit of help you know so these things can help them you know make it very user friendly uh, for the for the customer. Okay, so let's go ahead and click shop now All right, we're gonna go and, and try to buy something. We're gonna try to purchase something, right? Okay, so as you could see here, I broke them up into like categories, right? Um, you know again, you can always do different things. Okay, but this is the kind of template style okay something to start with all right, so I break them up if you have an e-commerce store some of you may just be selling small amount of items okay maybe your inventory is just 15 items I've seen some stores you know initially I thought you had to have a lot of inventory to be successful in e-commerce but later on I noticed that was not true you know I've seen stores that sell just 10 to 15 items and they're doing well <laughs> you know, and I've even seen one people selling just one item and they are doing amazingly well. Just one, you know, so um, you don't have to have a large inventory. But if you do, if you're a store, not to say that, you know, if you have a large inventory, you're not going to do well. OK, but if you have a store that sells a whole lot of stuff, uh, 300 items, 500, you know, 1000 inventory, just let me know. I can tweak this bot you know in a way that can make it easy for you to organize you know make it easy for your uh for the leads to search through the the large amount of inventory in a matter of seconds okay but this one is built mainly for you know someone that has somewhere roughly maybe 15 20 items uh you can even expand it to maybe 50 items if you have 50 items you can still use this template okay but again like i said if you have a humongous amount of items in your inventory we may have to tweak it a little bit just to make it convenient for you and also the leads okay so i break them up into mainly just for demo purposes we got computer accessories we got bedroom stuff kitchen all right let's just go something computer related right uh we want to go to this category so we want to check what's in the computer category okay so let's go ahead and just click right there and check what's available in computer category okay so it gives us um uh laptop it's got a canyon projector all in one and some other stuff okay but if you notice i changed the price to a dollar okay because i just wanted us to do a real time you know um uh, transaction so we see how it all works out you know with the confirmation uh confirmation payment and all that okay so um another thing is you notice there is a message that followed up right at the bottom it says do you want us to send you alerts of our computer and accessory products when we get them okay so you could give them the option to click yes or no now the whole idea about this is that you know you got 
uh, a regular business uh, during the course of time will have quite a lot of um, customers okay some people may have 5,000 customers in their database not every one of them like the same thing or you know purchase the, the, the same thing you know or you might be selling different kinds of stuff sometimes you got varieties even if it's one thing you're selling you might have different flavor you know you want to make sure you understand um, each group within your customer base you understand what I mean? you want to make sure you can easily identify each group within your customer that's really important uh, so for example in this situation here we want to know if let's say I have 5,000 customers I want to know how many of them really like computer related stuff okay so if I have a promo or if I have a new um, if I have a new uh, uh, item that I just added to my computer accessories inventory I would, would like to shoot out a message to let's say 500 of them who have no you know who said they want to receive notification I would like to shoot a targeted sniper message to them uh, to let them know you know I don't want to bother the other you know thousands of people who are not really big fans of computer you know although they're still your customers but I want to focus on these ones that have told me they want to receive alerts okay so you send uh, um, maybe like a sponsored message or you know something something that will target those people specifically okay that could help you uh, make sales you know just by doing that okay and you risk not you know if you be sending messages that other part uh, uh, you know other groups of your customers don't like they probably might you know unsubscribe and you don't want that okay so this is a great way to uh, help you know a business increase your sales remember I told you whenever I'm building but I have all these things in mind to help the business owner increase revenue okay so um, let's go ahead and um, click where it says buy for a dollar okay okay so it's gonna ask me how many of them do I want all right I'm just gonna go ahead and just click one okay so um, right there you can see that the item has been added to cart okay and it tells you about the amount um, now some of you may be wondering where is the tax part where is shipping I'm gonna show you uh, in a little while how you can integrate the shipping and the uh, taxes a, a whole lot easier okay by just putting in just uh, um, I, I I will talk more about that but this is just for demo purposes. I just want us to quickly run through uh, a transaction and then we'll go back and check some other features and how to easily add and set your taxes and set your um, shipping as well okay so um, uh, right here let's go ahead and um, check out now before we proceed I did add another feature in this new version of my e-commerce which is upsell for 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 those of you that are into e-commerce I'm sure you know how powerful upselling is uh, even the big companies uh, use that a lot you know um, when you for example you go to McDonald's or Wendy's you know maybe you're going through the drive-thru or you know you just want to get something and your your intention was to get just one burger right uh, but before they sell it to you they're gonna ask you hey do you want fries with it um, do you want a uh, drink with it do you want uh, uh, some mozzarella cheese you know do you want and then they just start to upsell you and before you know it your plan was to pay maybe five dollars or four dollars for the burger right but before you know it, you end up paying about nine dollars you know and then they make a little bit more income you know uh, through that so upselling is really powerful guys you if you don't have it uh, please uh, try to you know consider adding that to your e-commerce system and it's going to raise your revenue you know your you know the, the amount of money you will make uh, you know um, uh, regularly okay so um, I did add um, you know uh, an upsell I did add an upsell feature 
to this. So what it is is that if you uh, add this Dell laptop to your cart, um, I added um, you know a feature in there that will will detect that since you added the Dell top, then we're gonna upsell you stuff related to the Dell top. Okay, it could be maybe a mouse or uh, you know something, maybe a, a, a surge protector, you know something related to that product. Okay, so here here it is. So let's go ahead and try to check out and see how the upsell uh, will work right here. Okay, so we're gonna click to check out. Okay, and right there the bot detected that you did add. A laptop to the cart okay so it's gonna try to upsell you stuff like well you know usually the laptop will come with uh, well no laptops don't the laptops have it embedded um, you know mouse but maybe you might want to get you know uh, a mouse in addition to the laptop I don't think they will put the extra mouse in there so we could upsell them right a, a mouse we could upsell them maybe a surge protector uh we can upsell them you know maybe a memory card or speakers yeah we could do speak right so this is a nice way to raise the revenue okay now again for demo purposes i reduced the price to just a dollar because i just wanted us to do a test a real time transaction so we see how everything flows from a to z okay so let's assume we want a mouse hey everybody who buys a laptop will likely want to get a, a side mouse right uh, even though that laptop has an inbuilt mouse but so let's go ahead and add uh, you know we just have you know we just want to add that to it so it's gonna ask us how many of it do we want we just want one of it okay and right there it adds that to your card okay so you see how upselling can raise your revenue we now went from one dollar to the two dollars right so um, I really encourage you uh, to 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 include um, you know upselling features in your and in this case I did add it to my newest e-commerce chatbot okay so I think we have everything we need now um, we can go ahead and proceed to check out let's go ahead and check out now i mentioned to you that uh you know we there is a way we can add the shipping and the taxes as well but i just because of the demo purpose i'm just going to quickly run through a transaction and i will after that i will go back and show you uh how i integrated a new e-commerce um uh, you know a, a system that can help you easily set that up so let's um, let's uh, insert our email as you could see it kind of pre-populates uh, you know messenger with the email associated with the uh, the customers um, Facebook account all right that helps with accurate information um, I love this one a lot better because the customer don't have to type the email in there you know it gives it allows you to put accurate information the same with the number it will pre-populate um, the um, uh, you know the Facebook messenger with a number associated with your uh, Facebook account so let's go ahead and uh, click on the number we want to put in the number okay all right now it's asking for delivery address okay so we're just gonna create a fictitious uh, delivery address we're gonna go with 500 um, Riverside Riverside Avenue right something like that Riverside Avenue Columbus Ohio I'll just say four three three two zero something like that all right so we put in the address and uh, let's see what it says. it says would you like to add a comment to the order okay so um, let's just skip that for now um, no I'm good just so just trying to keep this video short all right so um, as you can see right here it, it does send like two messages um, one of it 
right here at the top is uh, a message for the business owner it's sort of like a messenger message that's sent to the business owner tells them about the order number you know and some other information um, name number uh, it's also give them some um, information about address and stuff like that okay um, here this one right here it's sort of like a preview for the um, for the uh, for the customer right so at this point in time they have to make a payment right and um, we have the um, mobile payment this one here is not really necessary uh, because it's an e-commerce you know there are some stores actually that uh, allow you to order something online I think uh, Walmart and Target does that right they let you order online sort of like it's e-commerce and then you can come to the store and pick it up right but that's when you've actually paid online and pick up so you probably may not need this section right here you know if you're not we can just take that off it's not a big deal so but this is where we want to focus on all right so um, let's go ahead and click uh, mobile pay we want to pay by mobile or online whichever um, okay we do offer the uh, stripe payment option and also paypal later on you know we can integrate um, something else with that but for now let's go with um, let's go with uh, with uh, uh, let's say um, Mm, let's go with PayPal right so we're gonna make a PayPal payment and it will prompt us to enter um, our payment amount in there I'm just gonna go with uh, just use this test account here try to pay mm, I'm gonna log in and make a payment I just wanted to do a real live uh, transaction so we see um, how this thing will work out okay so we're gonna go pay now okay so right after the payment is made we're gonna get a messenger notification sort of like a receipt you know something like a receipt that tells us that we have oh there you go that's it right there okay so we just got a messenger notification telling us that congratulations your payment went through and was successful you will be uh, you will notif we will notify you once your item is shipped okay so right after that now I wanted to, to also let you know that I integrated um, a paybot into this e-commerce all right paybot was originally built for e-commerce by Alexi Alexi Bondar later on I joined him uh, and we work to expand paybot to not only cover e-commerce but restaurant as well so uh, we uh, what I did was I integrated this uh, the paybot into the e-commerce but uh, uh, there are so many features that paybot has that I really love about it okay um, I work with Alexi and we made this thing really really powerful uh, you know it comes with a dashboard that the um, it's sort of like a test right uh, let's see right here so the order we just placed I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh that's it right there this is the order we just placed right so you just have you you're gonna be using a dashboard okay uh, if you want to check out the demo for the dashboard uh, let me know um, if you want to check it out I will send you an invitation link okay so you can check it out for yourself in real time and interact with it it's a really powerful um, dashboard that you know it's one of the best in the market okay um, it, it's it links with you, uh, the chatbot orders as they come in okay uh, you can also organize your uh, your orders in uh, or filter them out by date okay you could just check out you know what the, when the orders orders within a specific date or period you can you know filter those out uh, you can check also by um, 
you know keywords you know orders that are ready uh maybe maybe in the process of delivery you know and all that you know so um you can also come in here and see the details of a specific order this is the one we just the order we just placed okay uh it was paid uh by paypal it's paid for that's the information shipping address um, order now here's this cool thing once the order is let's say maybe uh delivered or in the process of delivery for example let's pick process of delivery we can send a notification through messenger to alert the customer that hey your order is in process of delivery right so the, once we do that um let me pull this guy up here we should get a message the customer will get a quick message the moment you you check this right here notify the customer and hit save oh let me hit there you go so right there see that message right there there you go right here so it says order three uh, status change two in the process of delivery okay so that's another nice way uh, to use your uh, dashboard the paybot integration if you have e-commerce store guys you need to add a paybot integration that's I've been added to my template all right it's a really powerful system uh, comes with so many features remember I told you about setting up that I was going to show you how to set up your the taxes uh, right over here let's go to settings and um, let's see where you could go to set up your taxes um, let's go to the left hand side right over there okay so you can set a fixed delivery uh, fee you know for let's say for maybe 450 all right or you can also set your taxes here in Ohio I think it's right around 7.5 maybe I think so somewhere around there okay so once you set this right here it will apply the price um, uh, the amount over here it will apply it to your total price before the customer checks out okay so that's a quick way to easily set up your uh, your tax um, I don't know some of you there may be uh, you know some of you watching this from out of the, out of the United States maybe taxes might not be an issue so this might not be necessary for you some of you might be offering free shipping so you probably would not need this you know if you're doing or if you've embedded the shipping in the price of the uh, the product so you can offer free shipping this might not be necessary but for those of you that need it you can set your tax here and then the delivery fee here all right I just wanted to show that to you okay so um, yeah a lot of um, um, you know different um, uh, you know um, options available that you could use okay so let's go ahead and um, check some other stuff here uh, we got integrations we got I mean the best I don't want the video to be way too long okay so if you want to check out this dashboard uh, I can send you a, uh, an invitation link and then you can just interact with you take as much time as you want and go through it you know check it out and let us know if you want something like this okay very beautiful dashboard that you can uh, have linked to your uh, chatbot orders all right all right so um what else did i want to talk about okay so there are some customers that like to break the flow that's kind of how i put it they break the flow they don't necessarily follow up you know follow the flow exactly so maybe they will say hey uh do you sell um kitchen stuff all right something like that they might come in there um or maybe do you have deals of kitchen stuff or whatever but let's just say they come in here and then they just type something out okay the bot should be able to detect what they are looking for all right so it says right here here are some kitchen stuff um here are some kitchen stuff we have on sale okay so this is also uh for those that um you know customers that just want to type whatever they want you know and they don't necessarily follow the flow 
uh, the bot is able to detect, you know, using keyword um, and they could, you know, uh, the bot could serve them something related to what they're looking for. All right. So I just wanted to also uh, give you a little bit of a caution. Uh, Mm, yeah maybe more like a heads up okay so some of you that are interacting with the bot in real time uh, just so you know that you know it's not gonna respond I have it set up in a way it's kind of like in a beta mode right now so um, not everything you type in there it, it will you know you're gonna get the response you really want okay but um, once we have the bot set up for you I will have a much more comprehensive keyword that can, you know, uh, serve your, give your customers a much better user experience. Okay. So in case you're typing something and maybe the things are not pulling out, uh, you know, this is just for demo purposes. Okay. That's this. I had just some few keywords to use for demo purposes. It doesn't mean that the bot is not working. Okay. So I just want to uh, give you a heads up. Once we have the, if you are interested and we set this bot up for you, I'll have a much more comprehensive uh, uh, keyword response system for your, uh, for your customers to, you know, give your customers a really good user experience. All right. So I just wanted to give you a heads up. All right. Uh, at this time, let's check some other, uh, some other stuff. Uh, uh, you know let's look at some other areas of this uh of this bot mm, all right so let's say uh we are past customers all right i just want to see if we have some other things we can check out uh, so here we give them the option if they're past they see how the reason why i kind of break them up you know i'm thinking past customers they might you know there are certain things you want them to see uh, for new customers, there are certain things you want them to see up front. So a past customer will likely be interested in maybe tracking their order. Um, okay. Um, you know, one other cool thing is that the, whenever they place an order, this new uh, version of uh, my chatbot will allow the customer to get uh, email confirmation as well. You know, in addition to the messenger receipt they get, they could get email confirmation, even SMS also. Uh, but remember that um, there are some new rules that just came up, you know, um, you know, so you got to make sure if you're going to be sending out SMS and all, you know, stuff like that, you know, you want to get the consent of the, uh, of the customer. So just ask for permission, you know, Hey, if, do you want to email, you know, receipt? You know if you do give us your email all of that i have it set up in the chatbot for you okay so you don't have to stress about that the chatbot will be smart enough to get all of that information get their consent and then they can shoot out you know that information uh you know to their mind so here uh if they want to return uh you know their uh, their product you know those things happen when you're dealing with selling uh, you know phys uh, physical products uh, so you got to make sure you give them that option to do that I do have a flow um, I think let me see if it's uh, right over here mm -hmm. yeah so I built a business contact flow okay I'm gonna do a special unique video for that flow it's a really powerful uh, contact, uh, you know, a business contact flow that you could add to pretty much any business, okay, e commerce, pretty much anything, and it's very comprehensive and pretty, pretty advanced, okay. So, um, I will the reason why I'm not gonna go down that path, I just want again, I'm trying to keep the video short, so I will have a separate video that will, you know, cover my business contact template, or you know, and you will see how powerful. Um, that is all right so um, let's go uh, past customer again let's see what else we can talk about mm, yeah so we got the return replace uh, that's I believe it's also part of it the return and refunds part it's also part of the uh, business contact uh, uh, flow that I created uh, reviews you know they could write a review if you need them to review your business, it's a great way to collect customer feedback, okay? If there are certain things 
uh, you know, maybe you're not doing right. Your customer can, you know, the feedback you get through reviews uh, could be really powerful. All right. Uh, you know, so use this review feature. We added it in here. The customer can use that. Once they send a review, you are going to be notified, uh, especially when it's a bad review. You know, you're going to be notified that, hey, the customer just, you know, sent you a, a, a bad, a pretty bad review, right? So you need to attend to that, okay? So let's say they leave you maybe like a bad, like a one star, okay? So you should get it. You see right there? there is a notification that um um you know it says this right here the customer will not see this okay because i am an administrator on this account i'm seeing both this and what the customer is seeing but the customer will not see this part uh, i am the only one the business owner is the only, only one that would see this area okay this is what the customer sees okay so it's going to say, hey, we want to do a better, uh, we want to do a lot better than that. We, uh, we are also not happy. You did not find us helpful enough. Um, uh, what, you know, it says, what was it that made you grade us low? Okay. So, I mean, hey, you can always customize that area. Okay. I'm just putting that there for demo purposes. So this is a way to try to figure out what went wrong. Okay. What exactly is it? that made them not happy so we give them options and you know uh maybe it's product damage maybe the shipping was late you understand uh let's click you know so this is a good way to get great feedback from your customers all right so right here we tell them about some of the things that could cause uh delayed shipping okay delays can also be uh, cause when uh, order was placed very close to the holidays products um, you know being shipped from out of the country you know it's a great way to educate your customers all right so they don't uh, go you know get upset and go to Google and leave you bad messages or face, you know so you get a chance to educate them tell them some of the things that could cause a delayed shipping all right so these are all the areas you could use uh, you know as a way to um, uh, you know get feedback from your customers okay um, I think we pretty much covered take your time guys you know take your time interact with the with this bot like I said check the description area you will see um, a link in the demo link you can interact with the bot it has quite a lot of features I don't want to cover everything you know because it's gonna make the video too long over one hour and I don't I don't want it to be that way okay so I think we've covered um, what else I have this under construction um, uh, you know uh, thing that I put in there you could use that whenever you're you know uh, the bot is under construction we can uh, uh, you know have that enabled um, yeah I mean I think we've covered quite a lot oh there's also the uh, customer loyalty as well yeah um, with that i have a unique video on that i'm not gonna go through that now but i have a unique video uh where we'll talk about the customer loyalty uh flow that i built and that could be integrated easily into your e-commerce chatbot okay so um we're getting ready to wrap up now uh let me check my list of things here i think we've pretty much covered uh let's see e email and sms integration yeah we covered that already we can have that you know integrated into the bot um uh let's see okay stripe payments paypal uh we talked about the set commissions you can actually set a commission uh inside of the um the uh, paybot dashboard okay so if you made it make an agreement uh with the um with with your uh you know the store owner let's say you have a client that you're setting up an e-commerce for okay well, you can have a commission set up okay uh whenever you're creating 
uh, a new client store it gives you the option to set commissions okay that's so if you uh, make an agreement with the, your client as to how much you're gonna be getting commissions you just put that in there and the, uh, the dashboard will calculate as the sales come in it will calculate how many commissions uh, you know you have okay so that's a, another nice feature on PayBot. okay that's why I highly recommend a uh, PayBot integration and I actually integrated that you know in this uh, in this chatbot okay um, Zapier and also uh, Google Sheet uh, we can extend the functionalities of this chatbot okay uh, thanks to Zapier Zapier has amazing tools that allow us to extend the, this chatbot to send uh, information you know custom field information to different if you have a, your own CRM system okay as customers enter their information uh, in there the uh, chatbot could grab that information their name number you know all that data the chatbot will grab it and populate the CRM automatically so you don't have to manually do that okay that's really powerful all right so it, we can integrate that uh, as the same with Google sheet okay we could do Google sheet integration and populate the sheet with customer information all right uh, all right so uh, let's uh, I think uh, abundant card okay I also have abundant card uh, you know feature added to it so when uh, it, 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 the, the nice thing about abundant card for those of you that are e-commerce e I think you would know how powerful uh, that is it can help you increase your revenue okay the reason is that some people may add stuff to their card and they may not complete the order okay so the abandoned card the moment they add stuff to cart you know the the bot will will detect that and then later on maybe after about 30 minutes or an hour or something you can always set that you know the bot will immediately um, remind or you know send a message to them that hey you still have some stuff in your cart okay do you want to you know complete the order you know something like that okay it's kind of like how it is on you know uh, with with website but this time it's a messenger platform okay so uh, abundant card is really helpful I have that integrated in this chatbot uh, you know which will help you uh, increase your your sales okay um, loyalty program like I said I have a separate video that will cover my loyalty program flow um, and then we already talked about the taxes and delivery setting an app in the uh, in the uh, paybot um, uh, you know uh, dashboard okay uh, bot sheets integration uh, we, we can also integrate this chatbot with bot sheets uh, you know the nice thing about bot sheets is that it allows you to manage if you're like an e-commerce that sells tremendous amount of items you know we're talking about 500 uh, 300 you know a thousand products okay uh, the nice thing with bar sheets is uh, those guys did a good job you know they allow you to search a huge amount of database okay in a matter of seconds okay so for those of you with uh, 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 a huge uh, you know inventory okay uh, like I said you don't have to have a big inventory to be successful in e-commerce I know people that are uh, you know have just 15 products guys and they're doing they're just making thousands and thousands of dollars you know uh, every month you know but some of you may have a very big image what it is is I try to make uh, this box scalable okay the box is very scalable and it can um, it can accommodate big business, a, a business, a large, a business with large inventory, and also a small business. Okay, so it's a very scalable bot. All right, so uh, bot, uh, bot sheet can help. Uh, you know, if you have a tremendous amount of uh, of inventory. All right, guys. So um, at this point, we will just uh, wrap up uh, for now. And uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel. Uh, please do so just click the subscription button um, and also click the notification bell and uh, you know whenever I upload new videos you will be notified okay I'm also gonna be doing some um, 
tutorials for those of you that are newbies that want to learn how to build bots you know I can you know be, I'll be doing some tutorial videos on that as well in different niches uh, so you can learn how to do that if you want to do advanced or learn how to do advanced bot building I'm also gonna be uh, uh, doing some uh, some tutorials on that as well uh, but I will give you more information on that later on okay but contact me if, if you're also a business and need uh, something like this a chatbot like this uh, for I think it will help take your uh, e-commerce to a whole new level uh, you know so contact me I could build something like this and customize if there's something that you probably want change you know maybe you want to move something somewhere else or you want to replace it with something it's very customizable we could do all kinds of stuff all right to make if you are uh, selling digital stuff uh, ebooks uh, music you know uh, you know stuff like that we can customize this bot and make it easy for you to uh, you know sell your stuff all right uh, thank you all for taking time uh, to watch this video um, I wish you all a pleasant pleasant um, day um, and I will see you uh, in the next video. All right. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. -bye.